Hello guys, Anthony coming to you live with a quick DIY one for all video as we do it for one and for all. I must confess that I'm hesitant to record this video but I've been asked so many times um, by viewers to show them how I bonded the neutral and the ground inside this AC breaker box in my shed. And the reason why I'm hesitant to even record this video is because this is potentially dangerous. It could damage your inverter. It could damage your breaker box. It could burn down your house or your shed. And I just want to put a disclaimer in there that the information that you see is just for educational purposes only. I am not giving you a license to do this. To do any electrical work, you need to get a licensed electrician to perform the work. But this is just for educational purpose, so just consider it like that. I'm not saying it's okay to do this with your own system, okay? But I will show it to you in that I've been asked. So how did I bond the neutral underground? Well, I'm going to open the breaker box right now and we'll take a look. So there we go. Let's a look inside the breaker box. I also have it properly grounded where it's grounded to a pole on the outside of my shed as well. So everything here is properly grounded. Here we go. Here's a hot wire. It's all by itself. That's the hot, the black wire. And here goes the neutral wire, which is the white wire. That's the ground wire. And it's grounded to the frame of the breaker box. Again, that's the neutral wire, the white wire. And here it is connected to the terminal. And that terminal has a ground bond to it that connects to the frame of the box. Okay? So once more, this is the plug coming from the inverter, where it's plugged in right here. This is not a hardware inverter. So the plug is there, then it comes over here. The neutral comes in right there. This is the neutral bar. And then I have a ground lug right here that is grounded to the frame of the breaker box. The ground wire comes in right here and that's the ground terminal right here. So therefore, with this little bar right there, the bus bar, the neutral and the ground have been bonded together. So that is how I do it. Okay? Said I don't recommend that anyone perform any kind of electrical work unless you are a licensed electrician. And uh, um, I, if something were to happen to your property or your home or to yourself, this video is just for educational purpose. I'm not giving you the license to do this on your own. But I just wanted to show it to you because I've been asked so many times. And um, I'm not sure if you remember or not, but whenever I first hooked up this inverter, I didn't find anything explicit in the manual saying that the neutral and the ground could be bonded together. I just took a chance. I was willing to risk it all. Um, so if, the, if this inverter had blown up, then I was willing to take on that risk. So before you perform any kind of work like this yourself, just be sure that you're willing to take on whatever may happen, okay? So again, that is how I've done it guys and I hope this has helped you. And I'm going to come to you live with a quick DIY one for a video. Give it a thumbs up and of course subscribe. Catch you next time. Bye for now.